Hello students, this is Father Avinash. How are you all doing at home? Today I have come with 7th standard civic lesson. And the name of our lesson is All Equality. Now equality is an important uh, subject of democracy. An important feature of democracy. To understand more of equality, I am going to narrate to you two stories. Happy listening. There was a lady called Kantabai, and she is my Kantabai. See how the children? Hello. The Kantabai, one day she was going to cast a vote. Okay, she was going to, and there was a big queue, a big line, and we were going to cast a vote. And Kantabai says, Hi, Kantabai, what happened? And she says, You know, I'm going to vote to that person who has promised me, uh, promised me to supply the water supply. Oh really? And you're going to vote him? Yes, she says, come to boy. Okay. And again she says, okay, what happened now? She says, I'm so happy that even the rich and the poor people are together. Okay, very nice, no? Everybody seems to be equal. And she was very happy at okay, because everybody in one line and it seems to be all are equal. Yes, Kanta. Later on, Kanta Pai goes uh, to her home and she finds a baby. This is Kanta Pai's baby. She said, hello, are you? And when she came to her house, Kanta Pai observed that she has got fever. And Kanta Pai said, I will have money to you know, take you to the hospital. So she says, I have to go to work and I will ask my boss to give me money very at once. Till then, you please take care of me. And she goes, Kantabai goes to work and after finishing the work she goes and she asks her boss, boss give me some money. What? You want money? For what? My baby is sick and I, I want to go to hospital. Okay, okay, this time I'm giving you money in advance. Don't make the habit, okay? Okay, okay, okay. And she gets money and goes. And then later on she takes her daughter, okay, she takes her daughter and both of them they go to the district hospital, government hospital. And they go, when they go to the hospital, see, the rich people are going directly to the hospital and these poor people are waiting and waiting and waiting. And she says, Can the wife of our daughter, this is not good, this is inequality. And this is a story, students, we have seen, already we have seen, where when they were trying to cast your vote, okay? It was so good, it was so nice and everybody are in one time casting the rich or poor. Any citizens of India, okay, we were concerned you know, irrespective of our background, whether it's Muslim or Christian, whether it's a Catholic, whoever it may be, they have right to vote. And that thing is called as universal adult franchise, okay? It's adult, adult franchise, adult franchise. What is it called? Universal adult franchise. Okay. And we have observed the second is inequality when she went to when she went to the hospital. Okay, that's the inequality. And in India we have so many cases of inequality. And the major one we have is caste system. More of it we will explain later. But caste system is a major problem we have in India. I would like to narrate to you the second story. Okay? This is a boy, his name is Om Prakash Valmik. You know his name? Om Prakash Valmik. Yeah, he's a very good boy. Okay, he's a Dalit. Dalit means broken. Dalit, again, those people are very poor, you know, they're down, you know, okay, they're very poor. Those people are called as Dalit. Lower, uh, you know, stretch of the society. Those people are very poor, they're called as Dalits. So, he, write, he writes a book. The name of the book is Jutan. What is the name of the book? Jutan. In his book, it's an autobiography. He writes it all his life story when he was small, everything is written about him. So this Omar Prakash tells, when he was a Dalit, when he used to go to school, they used to make him to sit down on the floor and the school teacher who was there used to make him day to sweep the classroom as well as the playground. Every day he used to sweep, if the children is used to tease him. One fine day, when Om Prakash was sweeping the playground, his dad saw him 
And he was shocked to see my son, instead of studying the school, he's sweeping and the playground was very huge, big. Took the hand of Om Prakash and went to the school teacher and scolded him, this is not going to help you. He scolded him and told him, warned him. This is types of Dalits, they face inequalities. And very so I am sorry to say, still inequality is practiced in India. When a person's dignity is violated, okay, when a person's dignity is violated, when persons are treated unequally, yeah, you know, unequally, when persons are unequally, that is called as his dignity is violated. If I am not treated unequally, then my dignity is there is violated. Next thing we have, uh, students, we have a book known as Indian Constitution. A very important uh, book, I would say. A wonderful book. Okay, where the rules and regulations are written. And it upholds, it is written that all Indians are equal. And they have various laws are written about equality. I would like to mention four laws, you know, they have written. The first important thing is all are equal before the law. All are equal before the law. Whether you are the son or children of the Prime Minister or that MLA or you are the son and daughter of the farmer, all are equal before the law. That is the first point. The second point is no person could be discriminated. Whether you are Hindu, whether you are Muslim, Christian, Sikh, whether whichever person you are, you cannot discriminate anyone. You cannot put down anyone. Okay? That's the second point. The third point is Access to public places. Anybody citizens of India can go to a public uh, prayer place, worship place, public ground, public hotel. Anybody cannot deny them that they are citizens of any place, any state they can go. Okay? And the last one is untouchability. There were people, poor people who were called as untouchable. We cannot touch them or oh, they, they cannot stay in our village. They have to be uh, shifted to a different village. Now that thing was abolished or banned, is banned in India. Okay? That's regarding the laws. Government also came up with different government schemes and programs. Okay? Now, one important scheme which the government came in 2001 was midday meal scheme. You know, uh, my friend, um, my, it's my friend, he loves to go, loves to go to school. You know why? Why? Tell everyone. Because he gets midday meal to eat and that's why he's so happy. The Supreme Court told for the first time in 2001 that we need to provide midday meal. And Tamil Nadu was the first state to start to give midday meal to children. And this solved many problems in India. The children who were not coming to school started enrolling and they started coming to school. And um, you know, those parents used to come back to work, they were to cook. They all started working till the evening and the children were there and many children started coming to school and they started studying. These are different schemes and laws the government started in order to make everyone feel that we are equal in our country. What is important here in the lesson is whether you are rich, we thank God they are rich. God has given you the gift of parent for they are rich. Don't discriminate those people, those children who are very poor. If you are fair, don't tease others that you are black, you are brown in color, I am fair. If you are eating good food, don't tease others who don't get food. Thank God, whatever you are in this situation, your attitude should change. Thank you students, I hope you have enjoyed. Study well and God bless you. Ta-ta!